So what's going on guys, it's Captain America, hope you guys are well and thank you so much for coming on to this video. So for this one it's slightly different, I've had a lot of requests coming through in regards to my centre back build and just my general let's say build, my perks that I use, my archetypes and just, just generally around what, what my build is. So we're going to be going through that today as well as just my general statistics where I'm ranked in the world as a pro clubs player and then our pro clubs team as well where that is positioned compared to other PC pro clubs teams. You know, before we do start, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching my videos. You know, we have been uploading every single day for the past couple of weeks now, you know, keeping up that consistency. Within our videos, we do have the full match highlights of the teams that we play against. It could be up and up to like full 11 teams or even like just as complete as possible. You know, we do discuss not just about the match analysis, but also real life stuff, stuff such as like the transfers general rumors and talks and just match analysis and team analysis of teams as well and again just my opinion so if you are interested of those feel free to check out my channel you know Captain America and the videos that we have on them but you know deep diving into the the video today on what we're going to be discussing so just going through my general stats so again this is all the matches I've played just for the matches that you've seen down here so 612 matches in total I've played for any position um, clean sheets 103, tackles I've made is 641, interceptions 1241, player of the match is 88 with an average rating of 7.4. Again, I do predominantly play as a centre back, but of course sometimes I might play as a midfielder. That's my second lesser position as a CDM or a cam. And then forward is very rare. But just deep diving into the centre back position and my stats around this. So the matches I've played is around 338, interceptions I've had is around 766 and then tackles 344. Again the way that I play, my play style is very much you know, positional, I try not to be as, as of an aggressive centre back that you see with other centre backs, I, I'm more of a positional and just seeing what the, the move is going to be and just coming in front and blocking it or tackling according to that. So my play style is a bit more different but it suits me. And again, the perks and everything that I will be showing you with my playstyle, again, is suited to the playstyle that I have. You know, I'm more agile. My agility is much more, let's say, responsive. My reaction times, my balancing as well. So just to give you a quick overview of my attributes, before we deep dive into each and every, let's say, perk that I use, attributes that I've uh, got, as well as the archetypes as well. So you can see my physical being 88, you know, defending 90. Dribbling 69, passing is 75, shooting 64 rated compared to the pace which is 90. You can see that I'm a centre back, max height of 6'7". I feel that, that that works for me, just um, you know, in general, even when I go up for corners now, I've been scoring you know, many more corners, especially the perk having the set piece beacon helps out. You know, my weight is 116 pounds. I have trialled other weights, but, you know, going a bit too, let's say, uh, smaller in terms of the weight or lower is a bit more detrimental for me. Even going a bit more higher, yes, I will have the strength, but, you know, I've got the physical strength perk, which helps me out. So, you know, 116 suits me as a centre-back. Now, deep diving into the attributes, and again, feel free to copy these if you do want to trial and test this out. You know, the, the attributes I have on the physical side of things, as, as I mentioned, you know, it's all around reaction, strength, and just being that, let's say, more physical player on the pitch. So this is what I have on these side of things, as well as the stamina. You know, the defending, of course, I've got the max, let's say, archetype, which is the guardian. You know, I had to see which ones I could remove, and these are the ones I removed, just again, depending on how I play and my play style. So I've, I've got this, again, feel free to copy this if you do want to. Dribbling, I've got mainly around agility and, um, yeah, agility and balance, you know, my reaction times on how I can move from one direction to the other, especially if there's any lob balls or if the, the striker wants to cut in and do one of those, you know, uh, finish shots or whatever the case is, you know, my reaction time that I've placed is, is much more higher than other centre backs. You know, sent, uh, you know, passing side of things, I don't have much, I only had like one skill point, so I'll put it as a short passing. Shooting, I've got nothing. Pace, I've got it as full, so I've got this archetype as cheater, and then goalkeeper, of course, I don't have anything. So, as mentioned, feel free to copy this if you are interested and just wanting to give something, you know, a go if it's something different that you're not used to. Again, this is what I've created as my attributes, as well as the perks and archetypes, which I feel for my specific playstyle and my player is best suited. But if you do give this a go, feel free to let me know what your thoughts are on the comments down below. 
And yeah, it would be great to hear and understand if you do enjoy it, if it's something that doesn't work for you, and just, just your general thought around that. I think it'll be always good to understand. But yeah, guys, that's my general build. And what we're going to be doing is just really going into now more about, let's say, where I'm ranked um, in the leaderboard. Again, you know, general overview for myself. I've been a, a central, uh, sorry, a centre back for many years now on the pro club scene. But I did take a, a gap within the last three years from FIFA, four years mainly. You know, moving over to the Call of Duty side of things. I was a sniper in Call of Duty, doing quite well. But then I just got bored of Call of Duty, especially the bugs and all the issues around that. So I've moved over to FIFA 22 since um, January this year. And I've been playing FIFA since then. You know, centre back has been my key role, as mentioned. You know, this is one of my partners that we do play with, Sergio Ramos. Do give him a go, and you could check, you could check out his attributes as well if you go on the leaderboard. He's there. But with my one, as you can see, 560 ranked in the world. I am going to be competing for top 10 guaranteed when FIFA 23 starts because you can see how many games I've played. I've played 338 games compared to over 2,000 games from all of these mandem down here. So, you know, I haven't played as many games, but then when you look at, let's say, my uh, tackles, I've made 49% percentage my tackles are, so it's, again, a very strong ratio on that. You know, interceptions as well, you know, goals and all this as well. So you can check that out. Interceptions I've made are 766. So again, a lot of interceptions if you do look at the ratio compared to the other individual centre-backs. Again, this is the play style that I have. So... Yeah, 560 isn't too bad, but we're going to go for top 10 in FIFA 23. So watch this space, okay? And just to give you a quick update of our club and where we're ranked. So we are World um, Worldwide Esports is our name of the team. You know, for this season, again, we are based on PC. We are ranked 17th for this current season, which is a great little feat for us. And then overall for top 100 on PC in general, we are ranked around... Uh, Bloody hell, it's so slow, man. <laughs> we're, we're ranked around 76 from what I remember. Let me just double check. Um, ranked around, yep, 76. And again, our main mission is to go into the Pro League side of things. So we've been practicing and trialing new players out and just, you know, playing a lot of friendlies with these Pro League teams just to understand how the play style is because, you know, these Pro League individual teams have... You know, these set pieces which they practice every so often for corners, for free kicks, you know, we don't have that side of things. So we need to come up with these individual areas to improve on if we do want to go into the, the Pro League. And of course, they've mentioned that there might be cross-play as well happening mid-season of FIFA. So that'll be really interesting to see if that does actually follow free or if it's going to be a case we need to wait for FIFA 24. But it looks promising as per what I've heard in terms of the community that it will be coming up sometime during the launch, mid-season or whatever the case is going to be for crossplay. So there's VPG Virtual Pro Gaming, which is going to be great to join up on, and as well as the German, let's say, ProLeague.de. So a lot of fantastic opportunities for us. And if you are interested and are a PC player, feel free to message me on the comments down below. And yeah, we could look at trialing you out and seeing how you fit in with the team. And that's it really guys, I don't want to keep us too much as well, I know we've discussed around like the stats, the traits, the club side of things, so this is what we have for the history, we've got 762 you know, wins overall, 191 draws, 346 losses, 26 times we've been promoted compared to 17 demotions, and then 42 titles in total, so... Again, a great, let's say, team that we are. We're going to be evolving. We've trialed out some really key players for key positions, which I feel is going to do well for us for next season. And now for next week, we're going to be focusing on fixed positions, like literally fixed positions with fixed individuals playing and just understanding, you know, the relationship and how we're going to be playing as a team going forward for the lineup that we're going to be, you know, fixating with going forward. But yeah, guys, that's it really. I don't want to blabber on a bit too much, but I do appreciate you guys' times. As mentioned, you know, we do upload every single day, guys. Every single day, you know, as you know, as advised. So it's the full match highlights where you can see how I play as well as the team as well. It's a great opportunity for the team to understand how they play individually and areas to improve. Hence why I do upload these videos as well. And again, if, the, if you are interested, not just about the pro clubs, but just general talks of like football, the transfers, analysis of clubs and my opinions. And, you know, it's, it's always good for you to like come down, share your opinion as well in the comments down below. And it's always great to understand and, and take this feedback in. 
But again, guys, for those that are new, thank you so much. As always, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see another build, such as like my CDM position, my central defensive midfielder, or the cam that I play with, then feel free to let me know down below and I can show you those builds um, on, I don't know, next videos or so. But yeah, guys, take care and I'll catch you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.